yeah, it's Tarot Tuesday. I don't know if this is going to be an actual thing that I do every Tuesday, but this time and the last time it worked out, so I figured why not. I have the Haunted House Tarot. This is something I picked up earlier in the summer, and I actually have not had a chance to go through it. All I've done was remove the plastic covering on the outside and the inside. I think I've seen a few images out of this. I'm pretty sure I have, but I kind of just bought this um, really for the theme uh, because why not? It's September. It's spooky season as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> so um, I have my crazy little spooky reading cloth picked up. I'm sure... If you've been to Disneyland or Disney World, you'll recognize it. It's from the, oh gosh, Haunted Mansion. Um, yeah, <laughs> so that's that. <laughs> but here's the, the deck. I thought it would be appropriate to go through this now. Um, that's the cover. It is a Los Carabeo, so it's just your um, cardboard tuck box. There's that so uh we've got the little white book which um you know it's it's pretty minimal you're not gonna get a whole ton of information but um it's fun because you do kind of have these little i'm sorry i hope i'm in focus uh these little sort of taglines uh in front of the the uh the meaning so it kind of gets you going as far as um, reading what the image is and ho hopefully helps to trigger intuition and whatnot. So that's that's interesting about that for sure. Um, it's, it is nice. Um, it's not your typical, well, in some cases, it's not necessarily your typical um, generic meaning. So there is a bit more to that. So it is worth having a look at the, the little white book as a starting point and then, you know, going from there. Uh, so let's have a look at these. That's just one of the extra cards. That's the cover card. This has, oh gosh, I really hope I'm in frame here. Uh, yeah, it's, I guess that's fun. These are the card backs, which I really do love. I think they're reversible, completely reversible. If you do uh, read reversibles that way or reverse, yeah, reverse cards that way. So that's that. We will go through this together. It does have <laughs> your typical sort of haunted house theme. It's, um, I don't know how to quite describe it, but I do like the, the energy of that. A lot of these do have you know, pretty typical. You see her in the background there. <laughs> so they are sort of almost, um, I heard it described as almost like a, a romance novel vibe, but with a bit of a, you know, a creepy twist or a bit of a gothic twist, depending on, on which cards you're looking at. Um, there are a lot of, you know, familiar uh, sort of, of imagery or surrounding the archetype. So it's a pretty traditional um, tower star imagery there that, you know, you could pretty easily read. Again, this is very, very uh, Rider weight sort of feel to it. I actually really love that sun card. It's very pretty. So, it's pretty interesting. It's an interesting deck. It's a nice, it looks like it'll be a nice read and um, easy to sort of trigger meaning and intuition. But yeah, certainly a bit of a creepy element to it. So that's fun and it's perfect for this time of year. Or really any time of year if you're, you know, which I mean, I could see myself using this any time of the year. It doesn't really matter. Um, 
We like being spooky all year round. Let's be real. There's a very traditional rendering there. The Ten of Cups. Oops. Artwork is lovely. I do. I do uh, enjoy it. It's it's quite nice. I love the color palette. It's not. Um... Oh boy. <laughs> Who's seen The Shining? <laughs> that was quite scary. I have to say. So. <laughs> um. Yeah, the, the color palette is lovely. It's it's quite um, muted and and not so, you know, in your face vibrant, but it really just lends itself to that. <laughs> oh, goodness. To the whole uh, vibe and uh, feeling of the deck. So it's nice. I like it. Very pretty. Look at that. So you've got the traditional... Um, card from the Rider Waite Smith. Very interesting. Okay, I like that. I like that the cards are borderless. There isn't any sort of distraction. You've just got the the bit of symbolism on the bottom to coordinate with the suit and. Um, the the number or the archetype so that's nice look at this <laughs> certainly a lot of creepiness in this deck but not over the top creepiness kind of <laughs> subtle underlying creepiness okay some of it is a bit in your face but um uh, there's there's still an element to it that's you know it 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 seems i mean it definitely goes red like a like a story as opposed to other decks i think like i said it will certainly be a smooth read you can see lots of oh, i think that was on our cover lots of um sort of nods to um, stories, movies, you know, literature in here. So, yikes. <laughs> oh, goodness. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty, that's pretty creepy. Hmm. Again, it would be interesting just to kind of peek at the guidebook and see, um, what is said about each image and and how it's how um they have they have portrayed it or or what they say about it that's that's a really nice ten of swords it really does show the um sort of the hope behind the despair or the you know the ending and the beginning and quite like that it's nice so oops hmm Interesting, okay. Alrighty, and that's that. So, that's your deck. That's the Tarot of the Haunted House. Excuse me if I said it wrong earlier, but I do like this. I am looking forward to, to using this for readings, and we'll see how it goes. So, thank you for watching. I really appreciate it, and I hope you're all doing well. Take care. Bye.